stall two. We're good to go. And they're off and racing. Nice even jump from the gates. Just angling out a little bit wide there was Bally Bay Moonshiner chased along disputing last place early here with Rumela. But up front, the yellow jacket of Overland at least gets a bit of early glory and is pursued by Doves of Peace in the very early stages of the contest. Amber Dews tucked in behind them, tight up on the inside is Hercilia. On the outer, improvement there from United Force, who's just edged past Captain Wentworth. Captain Wentworth, the grey, is buried away just in behind the front five. After slightly missing the break, Bally Bay Moonshine is in no hurry to go closing just yet. Half a mile left to run, and Rumela is just about last of all. Overland is the leader. Overland passing the three furlong pole with a narrow advantage over Doves of Peace and then three wide Amber Dew as they begin the turn in. Hercilia is now flat out and going nowhere, being passed by Captain Wentworth, who's on the improve. United Force on the wide outside. Bally Bay Moonshiner is getting competitive, now needs racing luck in running as they head then for home. The leader, Doves of Peace, switching to the inside. Bally Bay Moonshiner with his run. Every chance for Captain Wentworth the Grey and down the outside. United Force is packing a punch late in the day. Up front, Captain Wentworth being joined by Bally Bay Moonshiner on the rail. Bally Bay Moonshiner getting up to win it. From Captain Wentworth, they came well clear from United Force and Doves of Peace. Captain Wentworth still a maiden. The winner tonight is Bally Bay Moonshiner under Shane Kelly who has gained a second win in the last three starts and bounced back to form just to get the better of Captain Wentworth, who I felt had every chance and perhaps just didn't knuckle down well enough. Maybe that's the, the reason 